Series that has made no sense. T Wolves, Nuggets, game five, and before the game, Nikola Jokic getting his third MVP trophy from Adam Silver. And then look at his teammates. Look at this. They love him. And that's a big part of it. And we'll show you first quarter oh, highlights. Come on. Drea. Uh, just uh, look at this. Long strides, ball behind his head, a little extra emphasis. This game was personal for Nikola Jokic. Yeah, I mean, Anthony Edwards continuing to do what he can. Again, first quarter, shushing the crowd. But at this point, uh -oh. Nikola Jokic, Cheney would just take over completely. Look, this is a guy that oh. lets the game come to him. This is not the NFL. This is the NBA. He is so <laughs> great sure? at the touchdown classes. No, I know. It could yeah. be a blur. That was when he Bo Right in the pocket, throws the dive for the touchdown. Bo Nicks. Bo Nicks. No one does it better, but it's the pure awesome. way. But look at this. I the mean, look at the way. Look at the footwork. Look at him working on the defensive on. player of the year, come no on. less, in Rudy Gobert. Look, more Jokic. It was mental. It was mental at this point. When they started going to him in the first quarter and saying he's going to bring be the reason, that's what I think put the T-Wolves on their heels. I mean, he was on one, and I think he wanted to make a statement here. Yeah, 35 through three quarters, and then Hello. fourth quarter, uh, it continues. Give it to him. Come on. Okay, hey. you, know it's, you know it's your day. When you see that from Jokic, you know it's your day. Well, he did get the MVP trophy. And, and then this one here, too. A little step back. How about 40 oh, points? Ridiculous. 13 assists, zero turnovers for the MVP in a critical win. And the Nuggets, whose backs were to the wall a week ago, have answered in championship fashion. That's his fifth career 40-point playoff game. He shot eight of nine with Rudy Gobert, the Defensive Player of the Year, as the primary defender. Draymond Green was in the studio last night for TNT. He had a lot to say about Gobert and a lot to say about the Wolves. Number one, the big Frenchman is sitting on that podium speaking his native language. We, we, we need to do this. You, you, you need to get a stop. It ain't we. Carl Anthony Towns is actually doing a pretty good job when he's on Joker. It's you, my man, that's getting cooked. So it's no we. Now, yes, you do need help from other guys, but on some of those, help can't help you. Like, you just got to get a stop. So that's number one. Number two, when you're in these playoff series, for, for me, I'm always looking for the smallest ounce of weakness that I can find. And the way Carl Anthony Towns walked off that floor with the <laughs> limp after so he played the rest of that game totally fine and then he could barely walk leaving the court, they don't believe anymore. And when you lose belief, they, they, they're the defending champions you're playing against. When you lose the belief, it's over. What do you think of that? First of all, I think it's a series, right? Because these are teams that we've both seen strong responses from. But I do think the edge right now is with the Nuggets. You mentioned an important number, eight for nine mm -hmm. on Rudy Gobert. This was a strength on strength matchup where you have the best defense versus the best offense. And guess what? The best offense won. Watch this right here. It's so rare that you set a brush screen for a center. This was early in the game, <laughs> and they set the tone. He's not a center. He's a point center, whatever you want to call it, facilitator. Yeah. Inverted brush screen. screen. It was Ant and Rudy. Watch this. Brush screen for him to go downhill, and he scores. So when you're setting the tone that way, he's going to be aggressive. Nikola Jokic is someone that lets the game come to him. He will pass before he scores, but he realized I'm MVP for a reason, and I want to show the world this. And that's why he had 40, and that's why he was successful. They gave him the ball on the block a lot. But those types of plays showed you where his mindset was at. And it's so rare that you see those screens set for centers, but he's able to handle any type of offensive versatility, and his whole game was on display yesterday. The inverted ball screen is just ridiculous. I mean, Anthony Edwards doesn't even know what to do because he's on the backside of that ball screen. For me, it was Nicole Jokic in space. They did such a great job at giving him lanes to drive, lanes to attack. He was able to drop his shoulder, get to the rim, but Nicole Jokic is the most dangerous when he's scoring and facilitating. He had 40 points, but he also had 13 assists. So now you're putting the defense on their heels because it's like, do we give the attention to Nicole Jokic, but He's in such a flow, and he's finding his teammates, and they're playing so well. Now he's a force, and you can't stop him because he's finding them and he's scoring. But that does – so he may be an imperfect messenger to deliver what is an <laughs> but accurate message. the message is accurate. The, the message, message is, is accurate. Jokic cooked. I mean, that's a word. I mean, he destroyed okay, Rudy Gobert he, last he night. He cooked? He cooked him. He destroyed him last night. And – I think that the body language of Cat, Dream, I'm not the only person who noticed that. It was all over Twitter last night that Towns, who looked fine all game long, is kind of limping as they walk to the locker room. The, the problem is, is that that matchup is actually okay with the Wolves because coming into this game in this series, 
Gobert was holding Jokic to 39% shooting. He was looking like the defensive player of the year against Jokic. And also, you kind of sometimes want Jokic to go one-on-one. -on -one. It's a strategy point sometimes to make him into a score. There are times where this actually works very effectively. But Jokic is just so brilliant. He is a maestro at the top of his craft. I don't think that this was bad defense. Show me where, you know, you can say he was cooked or whatever if you want to make fun of him. Show me what Rudy Gobert is supposed to do. He, I, he's going all, he's, this is like David Robinson trying to defend Hakeem Olajuwon when Hakeem was at the peak of his powers. You can't stop him. It was, and, and Yoke, I'm going to go back to game, to the fourth quarter of game four. Jokic plays one of the finest quarters of his career offensively. 16 points in Minnesota to bring them home. He backs that up with this performance. We are seeing an absolute master at work. Absolutely true. I disagree with none of that. However, let me ask a question. You guys are my experts. What the hell happened in this series? I'm old enough to remember when the Timberwolves went in there, took the first two games, looked much younger, much more enthusiastic, much, had they much more energy. They won the second one without Gobert. People were calling this series over, and frankly, I didn't disagree. It looked like they were just, their time had come and Denver was ready to fold. You'll tell me it's the heart of a champion, and I'll buy no, it. No, it's more than that. They, that's what I mean. What else changed? They missed Conley. Well, two things happened. One, Jamal Murray got healthy. Yes. In those first two games, they were pressuring the heck out of Murray, and his leg, that calf injury, just wasn't allowing him to do it. Also, Denver, frankly, was, was a little bit shocked at how, yeah. how aggressive, off, how, how aggressive uh, they were defensively. To me, it, game three, and I've never before thought a team that was up 2-0 in a series was under pressure to win game three, but that was where Minnesota was. And when they opened the door, the Denver, the Denver has... has you know, gone right through, and, and also Murray's feeling better. You know, one of the things my coaches used to say is when you're going up against a team, their strength is the hardest thing that they'll have to deal with. So if you can go out there and a team that shoots threes, you shoot threes, they're like, oh, snap, that's our strength. We're on our heels. I think we saw shades of that yesterday with the Nuggets. You know, this gave me um, recollection to what the T-Wolves did to the Suns. They came out, they were super aggressive with Kevin Durant, and he was out of sorts. Without Conley, they were super aggressive to Anthony Edwards. They took a page out of their own playbook and forced, I think, 22 blitzes, 22 traps, and that sort of took him out of rhythm because Anthony Edwards has been in his bag. Even when they have lost, he has been consistent, and it was hard for him to find that rhythm, especially without his veteran PG on the floor. Yeah, and, and look, I, I love him. I love the kid. I like the comparisons to an early Michael and early Kobe and what those guys would have done coming out of this game is have a monster game at home in game six. He played as well as we've ever seen him play last night. It's his fifth career 40-point game. He shot eight of nine when guarded by Rudy Gobert. There is a history between Draymond and Rudy Gobert. That's putting it mildly. That's yeah, understatement, Green. Yeah. So, so, so take that for what it's worth. And the point that you want to make is Gobert played pretty good defense last night. Jokic might just have been unstoppable. And in this series, coming into game five, Jokic was shooting 39% head up against Gobert. They want this matchup. This is as good as they got. If Jokic beats Gobert, he's a $200 million player with four defensive player of the year. If he beats Gobert, he's going to beat you. That's just the bottom. Oh. That hook shot is yeah. crazy. Also, I'm going to extend this back to the fourth quarter of game four. That game was obviously a vital game because the winner of that game, I think, had a great chance to win the series. He has 16 points on the road in Minnesota, his most prolific fourth quarter scoring in his playoff career. These five quarters are an absolute masterpiece by the MVP. Yeah, it's as good as we've ever seen him, and we've seen him good. But the reason I say that is because during this championship run, they've never been in this position. They've never been pushed to games they needed this badly. And so what he's proven is that when they need him most, he's ready to be there. Oh, absolutely. And I think a lot of times on this network, we talk about who's the future future face of the league. And I remember Anthony Edwards saying this specifically. He said, this guy, Nikola Jokic, is the current face of the league. Now, he may not jump as high as people like, or he may not do the things, the sexiest things on the court. But let me tell you, this man is a problem. When they're setting inverted screens for Nikola Jokic in the first quarter to get him downhill with Anthony Edwards and Rudy Gobert having to navigate that, and they turn around and do the Haley Van lift, Man, there's nothing I can do here mm -hmm. for those who watch the women's tournament. That is a problem. That's how good he was. They said, you know what? We're going to play with you because our guy is so skilled. Ugh. We're going to play outside in. And then when you couldn't guard him outside in, they brought him on the inside and played inside out. 
eight for nine on Rudy Gobert. I this mean, is the answer. I don't know how Gobert went to sleep. He's got a newborn. I don't know how he went to sleep. I, I, Draymond, Draymond said help can't help you. When Jokic is playing that way, God can't help you. <laughs> you there's nothing you can do. That's, you're, he's high contest. He's finishing through contact. Like on a couple of those, Gobert even body checks him, and he's still able to finish at the rim. Like there's no one that can help you in that situation. And then even if you send help, Jokic makes you pay for it by finding his teammates. When he's playing that way, well, I'm, there's I'm, no help. I'm going to be our accountability partner, though. Because, yeah. Rini, you talked about, hey, or, or even, like, Draymond intimated, like, they've got the mental edge at this point. Right. After the first two games, I think we saw a Denver Nuggets team that we never thought existed, one that was out of sorts, unraveling in real time, and they responded the way that champions do. I do think that the T-Wolves, even though they had one game in which it was that bad, they're not the type to back down. I will say this also. We've given credit to Tom Thibodeau this morning. Michael Malone made a defensive adjustment. They double teamed Ant Edwards 34 times. Yes. It's not something we've seen before. He goes 5 of 15. The fact that Mike Conley couldn't play with an Achilles issue may have exasperated that situation. But the Nug it wasn't just Jokic doing all that stuff. The Nuggets were working at the other end of the court, too. The numbers are remarkable. I, 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 I am re amazed at this series because it's making a lot of people look bad, right? A lot of people thought, oh, this is a sweep. This thing is <laughs> all really over. Making look bad. I'm but, sorry to say. Well, I mean, it is. But, but my point is, a lot of people, and I will admit, I was one of them, who thought, oh, the Timberwolves just have their number. This is their time. The Nuggets, maybe they were a little inflated by they played bad teams last year. Oh, I bought into that narrative. And then the last three games have happened, and I'm, I'm infinitely more impressed by what they've done in these last three games than I was anything they did in the playoffs last year. You never count out a champion to me, and that's why I believe that the Nuggets, they felt like they could respond. They heard everything from their play on the court to their play off of the court, and they have really risen to the occasion. And to me, the most impressive part, and people say, Shanae, why did you vote for Jokic for MVP? Because we've got some stellar candidates, whether it's Luka or Shea Gilgis. It's because he can meet the moment and whatever that moment requires. Some games he'll give you 25, 15 assists, and 13 rebounds. Other games he'll choose to drop 40 because he needs to set the tone. The versatility of Jokic is why he is what Anthony Edwards considers the face of the NBA, even though that face comes in a way in what is a group. What's it? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. commercial that he's doing, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a funny. It's, he's funny. Who knew? He, he's, he's, he's got a very delightful kind of personality and charm did when he wants to. He's very funny. Did you hear him say he's a freak of nature after the game? He's like, yeah, I'm just a freak. Well, he is a freak of nature. He is. It's just amazing. <laughs> that was a, I'm just trying to figure yeah, out where true. Perk is because I don't want to speak on Perk when he's not here to defend himself. But? <laughs> but he told me that this series was going to be a sweep. And I just would like... He didn't just tell you, sis. I will say he this. He told the world. He told everybody, but looked yeah. me through the camera yeah. on first take last week and said, this is not about the Nuggets. This is about the Timberwolves. And look I will say this. Ant Edwards has the ability to win two games like this. I don't know if it's going to happen in 2024. It will happen someday. So while it does look like Denver is in great control, because of Ant Edwards, I ain't giving anything up on this.